It's Chinese New Year and Mr. Mutu wants to help his wife, Mrs. Wong, to sell some... Uh, what's this called? Hua Sheng Ping Hua Sheng Ping Hua Sheng Ping Hua Sheng... Hua Sheng Is it Sheng? Hua Sheng Ping Hua Sheng... Peanut biscuits He wants to help her sell some peanut biscuits In order to maximize the space in the packaging, he wants to know how much space is wasted in the current packaging. Given that the radius of the container is 4.5 cm and the radius of each peanut biscuit is 1.5 cm. He wants to find the area in between the peanut biscuits. Let's assume that the peanut biscuits are perfectly circular and they are in contact with each other. And also that the container is perfectly circular and the peanut biscuits are in contact with the container. Now with these assumptions, we can do some calculations. So first we know that the radius, let's draw the radius of the peanut biscuits. These are 1.5 centimeters, 1.5 and 1.5. It is the same for all. Let's call this O, P. When two circles are in contact with each other, then we can draw a tangent between the two circles. And so we will find that this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees, which means OQ is a straight line. And this exact same concept will apply to PQ and OP as well. All are straight lines. This means that OPQ is an equilateral triangle. And this would mean that the angle, the internal angle is 60 degrees. And so now we can calculate the area in between. If we were to calculate the area in between, all we need to do is take the area of the triangle, OPQ, and subtract three times. If we look carefully, here we can find we have sectors of a circle. We have three identical sectors here because all the internal angles are 60 degrees, 60 degrees and 60 degrees as well. So we can multiply three times the area of one sector. And so this will be equals to the area of a triangle. We can use the formula half AB sine C. And we subtract three times the area of sector. Area of sector will be 1 over 2 R square theta. So now all that's left to do is substitute. So since this is an equilateral triangle, it really doesn't matter which is A and B. Let's call this A, let's call this B, which means C will be 60 degrees. And so let's just substitute those values inside. We will get 1 over 2 times the side, the whole side here is 1.5 times 2, which is 3. So we have 3 times 3 times sine of 60 degrees. Subtract 3 times 1 over 2 r squared. So r here refers to the radius of the sector. So the radius of the sector is just 1.5. So this will be 1.5 square and theta. Now remember when we use the formula 1 over 2 r square theta, theta must be in radian. Therefore we need to convert this to radian. And so this will be 60 times pi over 180. I'm going to use 3.142 you need to follow the instructions of the question over 180. Sometimes the question will say use pi 3.142. Sometimes they'll give you the approximation of 22 over 7. Just follow the question. And so when we key this into the calculator and you will get 0 0.36 centimeters square. This is the area in between the biscuits. Now let's try to look for the area between the biscuits and the wall of the container. So once again, let's draw the radius. Now we can draw the radius of the container because the radius of the container will go from the center all the way out until the edge, until the circumference of the container. And so we can draw another radius over here as well. This radius is 4.5 cm, 4.5 cm and 4.5 cm. Now once again, we can draw this line from the center to the edge where it touches. So what we get is our same equilateral triangle as earlier. So once again, let's call this OPQ. So this equilateral triangle 
is 60 degrees here, 60 degrees here, and 60 degrees here. And here we have the radius 1.5 and 1.5. So this is 3 centimeters. The total will be 3 centimeters. So this is the same triangle as earlier. So how do we get this area now? So what we can do here is we take the area of this sector, the large sector that is part of the container, the circular container. Then what we can do is we can subtract the area of the triangle and we can subtract the area of these two sectors here, this sector and this sector. Once again, these sectors are identical. So let's figure out the parameters for the sectors. This, the radius here, this is 1.5 centimeters. And this angle here will be 180 minus 60 because this is a straight line. Therefore, we get 120 degrees. Let's label the vertices. So here we have R, let's call this S, and let's call this T. So now this area, area between the biscuit and the container A will be equals to the area of the big sector ORS, area of sector ORS minus the area of the triangle, this triangle. So we can use the same formula as earlier. That is, let's write it down first, area of triangle OPQ and we minus two times the area of the sector, which is this, these two sectors. So this will be two times area of sector. Let's just choose one. So let's take PST, PST. The area of the large sector will be one over two R squared theta minus the area of the triangle, which is once again, one over two AB sine of C and minus two times the area of sector PST, which is 1 over 2 R square theta as well. But the values of R and theta will be different for each. So let's call this 1 and 2 so that we don't get confused. All right, so now it's all about substitution. So for the area of the large sector, we have 1 over 2. This large sector, the radius is 4.5. So 4.5 square. Once again, theta has to be converted because we're using 1 over 2 R square theta. And this angle is still 60 degrees. So this will be 60 times 3.142. Once again, this is the value of pi over 180 minus 1 over 2 AB sine C. So again, the sides, these sides are 3 centimeters. So exactly as we did earlier, 3, 3, sine of 60 degrees and then we minus 2 times minus 2 times the area of the small sector so this will be 1 over 2 the angle of this sector is 120 and the radius here is 1.5 so again this will be 1.5 square but this time theta once again we have to convert so this will be 120 times 3.142 divided by 180. And so when you put this in the calculator and you will get an area of 1.99 centimeters square. If you've learned something from this video guys, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Really does help the channel a lot. If you enjoy videos like this, do subscribe because I'll be producing at least once a week. I wish a happy Chinese New Year to all those who are celebrating. And see you guys in the next one.